friends. So today I'm going to take the driver's side door off because I just can't get enough of messing with my mirrors on my F-150. No, that's not really it. Um, I bought the wiring diagram book uh, off of eBay. I actually got a really good deal on it, like 40 bucks or something. But anyway, I want to see if the telescoping mirror connector is on the wiring harness or not. Because if it is, it's going to make this a whole, whole lot easier. So let's find out. All right, so we've got our mirror connector here, and we're gonna have to pull this back a little bit to see what's going on in here. So there is a connector that goes to the switch here, and then there should be another connector inside this door, and that's what we wanna look for. I'm not seeing it. This connector goes to the keypad. So we're just gonna pull this back. I wonder what that is. Oh, it's some kind of door sensor. And does not look like I got lucky enough to have the telescoping connector. Which makes sense, because I don't have the telescoping option. And then that just leaves me with the, where would I actually put it if I had it? I'm thinking it's gonna go up here, real high on the trim because nothing else goes up there. All right, so. Do we have all the wires? And we do have all the wires. So that's a really good sign. Um, so this means all the wires are here. So what I think I may do is figure out where the other end of those wires are and see if it's on the driver's um, seat control module. So I gotta figure out where that thing lives. But this is, a, this is good because all these are populated. And number two, and I, I can't tell you which one's which from this angle, but, but there are three of these that should be involved. And, uh, Unfortunately, I just, it, it would be super sweet if I had the telescoping connector in here, but I don't see it. I don't even see where it's just blocked off and could be picked up and extended. So those all go up there. And these all come down here. goes right into the wiring loop there. I'm gonna just, the net of it is that the connector for the switch isn't here, but the wiring to the mirrors is. So I wanna investigate the other end of this and um, see where it goes because there may be a better place to insert this into the system to get the telescoping functionality. Now, on the driver's side, if you had electrochromic mirrors, one of those wires is used for that, but I, I don't think that's the case. And anyway, I'm gonna do some more investigation. So here is the, let me show you what we got here. It's the wiring diagrams for the 2014 F-150. And this is where we were just at. We were looking at C521 and we were looking for C577. And this is a great book. It's well worth the money if you like to mess with your truck. So this is what C577 should have looked like. And here is, you know, it should have looked just like this. And it should have had these pinouts. And here is the pinout on the rear view mirror switch. So, two is telescope out. Nine can be either the electrochromatic mirror or telescope in. And then 11 is either the relay for the puddle lamps or the 30, it's, it goes to fuse 30 for the circuit breaker. So, in this particular case, it probably goes to the puddle lamps 
and it probably has a stupid electromagnetic mirror is what the truck is wired for. So that's fine. We can cap 9 and 11 because we don't care about that feature. Um, and if that's 521, I had a, a little notepad here somewhere. So, 521 is the driver's connector, 615 is the passenger connector. So let's find 615, show you guys that while we're at it. So 615 would have been two for telescope out, nine for telescope in, and 11 for the puddle lamps or the circuit 30 amp circuit breaker, or fuse 30. So we're gonna have to repurpose this. Um, but I think we can supply power to two and nine, and it should move it in or out. And that's gonna be one of the tests we do. So let's go look at the wiring diagram. So this is our diagram for the switch, 577. It basically is an on-off on switch, and then it, it, it splits the pins out for six, seven, and two and three go to in or out for passenger or driver's side, and then seven is your power. And so, and then five over here is your ground. So I'm, yeah, I'm sorry, it's four is your power. And power is coming from the body control module and it's coming off pin 17. And there's a power distribution. So there's a fuse 32 in the BCM. So 15 amp fuse, it can't possibly take 15 amps to do this. So let's look back through these diagrams with memory and I actually want to look to see what we've actually got. With memory, let's see, we've got two different memory modules. All right, so memory is both of these pages. So this is appears to be the memory side. It, it goes in with the driver's seat module and it's got a CAN bus connection and a memory set switch. And this is probably has to do with the chromic mirrors because this is a photodiode. So let's go over here. This is the side that I think we're more interested in. And we got eight, 17, 18, 19, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20 run the mirrors. And basically the switch sends commands to this driver's seat module and it is 123, 4, and 5. So let's go look at these. 123, 4, 123. So. These are the controls. and the steering telescoping. Looks like the telescope mirror function is completely independent of this from what I can tell.
this is what we're probably dealing with and we've got to figure out if we've got the chromic mirror stuff so that's heated windows So, this is the driver's seat module. So basically the switches on the door run the driver's seat module. They send commands to it to determine what it's going to do. But when you get the telescoping mirror in here, then it just simply, this is the circuit. So it means that we're gonna have to clip the, so if we go back to here, not that one, it means in order to make this function, we're gonna have to, two is okay. Nine, we're gonna have to clip and leave the body harness alone. And then 11, we're gonna have to clip because we don't have puddle lamps on these mirrors. So we're gonna have to clip that and tape those off. But then we can hijack 11 and nine on this plug. And we can basically do two and nine. And then I have no idea what 11 does. Cause this, I, I guess that powers it. I don't know, we'll have to test it and see what happens. Um, so it says with telescoping there's a fuse or circuit breaker and we'll put that crap on a circuit breaker if we can find one that will fit so I think this is power and then this just runs yes no so two and nine but anyway we'll have to we'll have to do a little surgery here and then, then let's look at the other side 615 let's put a tag on that and 2 9 and 11 it's going to be the same thing we're going to have to clip oh no 9 doesn't have a puddle light but 11 could be the relay for the puddle lamps. So 11 would have to be repurposed. Why is 11 over here and not here? Oh, 11 is the relay for the puddle lamps over here. And then 9 is either electrochromic or, or telescoping. So we're going to disable electrochromic and then disable the puddle lamps. As cute as they are, we just don't really care about that. What we care about is getting this telescoping stuff working. And I think it'll work if we wire it. And then we'll just have to bring a switch up. So, now the magic question is, where does the other end of this go? So, let's go back to this diagram. Now, this one. So we'll tag it too. So what we want to know is C219. So let's go find C219. Thirteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, eighteen, 
19. Oh, you gotta love this. So now we're gonna use a highlighter in here. Oh, and we need no circuit numbers. Ooh, that's nasty. So let's go back to telescoping mirror and figure out what the circuit numbers are. So, if we've got electrochromic, it'll be blue and gray. If it's violet, then we have the telescoping harness. And on number two, if it's yellow and olive green, then we have the um, telescoping. And as it would have it, two and nine are here and there so we want to see CPM 29 and no no not CPM 29 CPM 42 and we want yellow and olive green or we want brown so Let's go back to this. CPM 41 and 2. So it's interesting, over here, it's CPM 44 and CPM 43. I wonder if I made a mistake. Let me look these up again. and 43 on the passenger side. So C219, this is wrong. This is the pinout for the passenger side circuit wise. And it should have been C237. This is C237. So let's go look at C237. And this doesn't say squat. CPM 31, 34, CPM 
34, 39, 33. Yeah, this doesn't, so, so this isn't a hundred percent right. So what we need to do is find So CPM 41 and 43 and 42. Okay, so it told us this here. And the question is, where does this come from and go to? So these go to the switch. I really need to know where these wires go. I think all bets are off. So apparently there's two connectors, and if you have 14631, then you have telescoping mirrors, and if you have 14A005, then you don't. Oh no, those are male and female. Yeah, okay. I still think I'm looking at both sides of this I think pin 11 yeah it still looks like there's two different connectors here At any rate they're using 18 gauge wires it's pretty small Let's see what we should be have. CPB32 is our power circuit. Charlie Bravo Paul 32. Charlie Bravo Paul 32. So it should be pin 12. And it's either 18 or 20 gauge. So, that's our power coming in on Charlie Bravo Paul 32. And I think we could just run wires and bypass all this crap. Because I don't think the wiring harness is there. So, I think the solution to this is we cut two and nine on the harness and, and seal it. Although it's really tempting to check and see if we can get across the truck with stock wiring because it might be there. Just depends on how cheap they were when they made it. Anyway, that's all the investigation for tonight. If you got any comments or ideas, feel free to post them. Thanks for watching. All right, so 43 and 44 go through the driver's side connector over to the passenger side. So I won't have to run those wires, but I will have to find the connectors. Oh, that's lovely. And 41 and 42 are not in here because they stay in this door.
So 